In a bid to inspire and nurture the next generation of innovators, a group of students from the Innovators Club and Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers at Dedan Kimathi University of Technology recently embarked on an impactful journey at Kereti Secondary School in Tetu sub-county Nyeri. The purpose of their visit? To mentor a group of young students who are gearing up to compete in an upcoming science and technology fair at Kangubiri Girls High School. Passion and commitment are one of the prerequisites to a successful life. However, mentorship is also one of the guiding principles. Didan Kimathi University of Technology students are here today at uh, Kereti Secondary School to mentor them on their upcoming innovation and imagination. Innovation is not just a concept. It's a journey that often begins with inspiration. Join us as we take you through a transformative experience at Kereti Secondary School, where the Innovators Club of the Court took the role of mentors to foster a passion for science and technology. The mentorship session kicked off with an engaging introduction, where the Decode students share their own experiences as budding innovators and the transformative impact of their projects. So uh, innovation, is, uh, innovation is the cornerstone of our lives. In each and every generation that we live in, if it's not innovation and inventions, then uh, we, we will not be having even this generation that is uh, currently here. Or if we will be having this generation, then life will not be as easy at, uh, as it is now. So innovation is basically the, what carries us as a gen generation. And if we get to deprive this generation of innovation, then we'll not be having the next generation. Or life will be tougher and very difficult in that time. Innovation is leveling the playing field. The difference between you and a different student somewhere else is just the mentality. So, so, so as I said, innovation is just an extension of your passion. Innovation will outgrow the normal idea we have that only STEM related. As I said, Currently now, if maybe your trouser gets torn, the first thing that you is to pin or to stapler. In case you have a pin, you have a pin. When I was in Form 1, I studied in Tudor Day Secondary School. So when I was in Form 1, I invented a formula called Area of an Isosceles Triangle which is a quarter a b cot theta so that formula ndio ilinifanya nikakuwa na participate kwa hizi wanaita sisi wakati huo nyinyi sasa mnaita stem sisi tulikuwa tunaita sigma club yani sign of mathematics so hiyo ndio tulikuwa tuna tuna participate kwa hiyo so innovation ni kitu ambacho wewe unaona unaona a need this engaged their curious minds and laid the foundation for a day of exploration. Throughout the session, the Decode students conducted various interactive workshops and hands-on activities focusing on key aspects of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. They emphasized the importance of creativity, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills in the field of technology. It's evident that the impact of mentorship extends beyond just technical knowledge. By incorporating discussions about the role of women in STEM, the Decode students not only inspired innovators, but also fostered a sense of inclusivity and diversity within them. So as I said, like, I view innovation as a great thing because through innovation, we get new ideas. Through innovation, we get new products. My name is Kiberozi, and I'm glad for we had visitors from DCAT who made us to grow to grow mentally to grow <laughs> to grow mentally and they have encouraged women to join in science and engineering fair so women are encouraged. One of the highlights of the mentorship session was a demonstration of some of the innovative projects developed by the Decode students. From robotics to renewable energy solutions, the young minds at Kiriti Secondary School were amazed and inspired by the possibilities that technology offered. 
With the newfound knowledge and inspiration, the students of Kiriti Secondary School now delved into preparing for the upcoming Science and Technology Fair. The Decote mentors provided guidance, encouragement, and technical expertise. With the students pitching their ideas to their mentors and in a collaborative atmosphere, the Decote mentors actively listened to their ideas, offering constructive feedback and guidance. I'm Mr. Ayuka, or uh, this is Ayuka. I'm uh, one of the teachers guiding these students in this science and engineering fair. And uh, <coughs> we had informed them, uh, the students that what we are going to have is a very interactive session. So I think uh, they must ask questions. They must ask. And we had an agreement that if you do not ask a question, don't ask us, me and Madam Maweru. We are no longer the experts. Now you have all the information you need, so just consult. And uh, as like we were, we were telling them, I don't know whether uh, we told them the right thing because we said in uh, this innovation thing or uh, career, you can be having a very good project or you can be having a very good idea, but that idea must be uh, supplemented with a model. At least you must have something to try and explain your idea. So don't just come up with an idea and you cannot be able to, 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 to come up with a model. If you are not able to come up with a model, now we have the experts, we have the engineers. When, uh, mostly when we talk of engineers, we talk about something that is going to be very physical, some, some form of construction. And for, for you to come up with that model, we are going to have some form of construction. So I want to believe that by the end of the day, by the end of today. At least present your idea, now you have the relevant people, and make sure at least you have an idea on how you are going to come up with a model. This exchange of thoughts not only strengthened their con connection between mentors and mentees, but also fueled the sparks of innovation that had been ignited earlier in the day. The mentorship session concluded with an Q&A session where the young students had the opportunity to ask questions and seek advice from their mentors. Details on the, it is about the, the making of the craft pillar using the power of trigonometry and also the Pythagoras theorem, whereby we are using, we are using the power of Pythagoras theorem and trigonometry if you have a given angle, you are and you have the base whereby you can get the height if you are lifting up a load that you can get nezajua load yako yumefika like e.g. flow gani. So you can use the power of trigonometry and also the power of trigon of Pythagoras theorem if you have the base and the hypotenuse, so you are able to get your height, and your height is where your load is. Ted Katofidi, you were thinking about how could, how could I be feeding my cows even when I am not at home? And I was coming up with a project that what if, what if this machine can be giving my cows the feeds at the right time and at the specific quantity. And the major problems that I'm encountering in it, it's how to come up with a model of the same. Project uh, entails uh, the designing of an automated solar fan, whereby we, uh, uh, on the project, we are using a copper sulfate solution, uh, depending on the gas loss, uh, uh, and the thermal exp uh, expansion of copper two sulfate, uh, in order to turn on and to switch off a fan uh, during uh, a hot, uh, hot temperatures. And then on the second phase of the project, uh, the contraction of copper two sulfate will, will contract, thus uh, lighting on an infrared uh, lamp which will be used in uh, uh, heating the room during uh, cold temper temperatures in the house. My name is Che Wamboy. As for me, my project is for preserving bananas using gover sleeves and 
Yeah, and so the the main problem that I'm going through out of this it is how to preserve when you're using the that project you're going to have for commercial, natural and without preservative. So the main problem is having the commercial data. Okay, thank you. <coughs> My name is Caroline Gary. We are measuring the diagonal of the house using the source of light. So we are using the source of light to focus one corner of the house using an angle of 45, 45 degrees. Since since you have the since you have the angle of 45 degrees, obvious you know that the other corner of the house is 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So you will use a source of light. Let's say a torch. You will focus the other corner to make sure it's an angle of 45. So since you have this angle, and you have one fixed line. Let's say this one is the fixed line. So you will use the Pythagoras theorem to measure the diagonal. Get my point? Passion and commitment are the guiding principles to a successful life. However, mentorship is one of the prerequisites to a successful life. The Decode students encourage them to dream big, think outside the box, and never be afraid to fail. As the Decode students bid farewell to the young inno innovators at Kiriti Secondary School, they left behind not just knowledge, but also a sense of hope and inspiration. They planted the seed of innovation and creativity, hoping that one day these young minds will grow into the technological leaders of tomorrow, shaping a better future for all. So good evening. I'm here to say thank you to the team that came visiting our school from Dead and Kimadi University. We are humbled. Uh, we call ourselves a great school, but now we've met the great of the great, and we can only be greater than them. So, hello people. My name is Peter Omondi, a member of Kiriti Secondary School. So, today was very great. We had a visit from um, the Dekut, um, Dedan Kimadi University of Technology. Um, the purpose of coming here today was to mentor us on our projects. They had to come and intervene so that our projects, when we reach to a certain level, they will be of quality. And um, I really enjoyed the day. I have learned a lot and thank you. Hello guys, I'm David Irongo, a student in Kerit Secondary School. I'm glad, glad today to thank the people from Dikut University, that is the dead at Kimbadi University of Technology. They were our strong visitors today who had visited us, majorly to mentor our ideas on science and engineering fair. We, I, Hamri, and Kata, the, from the courtesy of our school, thank the people of Dikut. We have been mentored and been able to open up our minds on our innovations. And we would humbly request them for another visit. Thank you. Uh, good evening. My name is Brian Okari from Dead and Kimath University of Technology. Today we have gotten an opportunity to come and mentor students of Kiriti Secondary School on uh, science and engineering at large. And they have really cooperated and we are glad to uh, know that uh, by the end of this day a lot of students have been empowered and they will be venturing in the field of engineering even in the future. Thank you and we really appreciate it. Hey, good evening. Today we were at Kiriti Secondary School. It was an amazing day. We were trying to empower them and trying to show them that innovation is the key to the current world. Thank you. You've heard it all. Innovation is the next future. Welcome. In conclusion, mentorship is more than a simple exchange of knowledge. It is a prof profound connection that transcends generations. The mentorship session between the code students and the young innovators at Kiriti Secondary School exemplify the transformative power of this connection. It was a compelling testimony to the impact of knowledge sharing and mentorship in inspiring the next generation of innovators. This experience underscored the significance of passion, perseverance, and the right guidance, reminding us that with these elements, 
anything is possible on the path to innovation and success.